Now on this episode of Cooking with Jason, we'll be making flan. Now, uh, we have a few steps to making flan. First, before you do anything, you're going to need a pot of boiling water. Because flan needs a water bath. This is why we prep, so we don't have to... So we don't really have to do this, because I don't know so if people want to see this. Hello, the cameraman. You're supposed to be filming. <laughs> You're going to need this water eventually. So, let's put it on the back burner, let it boil. Ignore it. Now, for the caramel, you will need sugar. You need a, um, a pot, a heavy pot, a pot with a heavy bottom, something that distributes heat evenly. Basically, what you have to do is you put your fire on medium high. Put your fire on medium high, and then you want to put enough sugar in the pan. Do you to cook sugar like that? Yes. You want to put enough sugar in the pan so that it'll melt. You don't want to put too much. Just about enough to kind of put a thin coating. Small amount of sugar in the pan. Like that. So, so you got the sugar in your pan like that. Just leave it. Let it let it heat. It takes a while for your sugar to melt. Now you don't want to stir your sugar because it makes lumps. So you gotta just leave it on your fire, on medium high. Now the sugar is still cooking. You see here that it's starting to melt a little bit. I did not know sugar melted. Yes, sugar melts in very high temperatures. Just leave it alone. Just let it keep going. Okay. As you can see, our sugar is starting to melt now. I have to give it a little bit more time. Wow. Now the trick is to melt your sugar, but you don't want it to turn black. It means your sugar is burnt. And burnt sugar is, is pretty nasty. I feel like I'm the only idiot that didn't know that it melted. Well, I'm pretty sure there are other people just like you, Matthew. Oh. Our sugar is melted and it's beginning to burn. So you take it off the fire. And you want to you want to have enough sugar to coat the bottom of your pan. Sometimes you're gonna have to do this maybe three, four times. While it's still hot, you can move the sugar around. I usually do this twice because I like to have extra syrup with my flan. So then you can never have enough syrup for your flan. Mm. So, that's one coating, but we're gonna do another one. Mm -hmm. All right. So we have our pan with two coatings of sugar. I usually do uh, more than one coating. One, because a large batch of sugar, I know it's with me, tends to burn. So if you use small batches of sugar every time you, you, know, you put, it, put it in the pan, you can do one, two, three, as many as you desire. And uh, you kind of want your pan to look like that. Now the sugar does harden, but you know, when you're done with your flan, it's going to, it's going to soften up. Um, you're going to need milk. About uh, Is about, that whole milk? Yes, whole milk. Whole milk from from C Town. No, shout out to C Town. Shout out to C Town. Shout out to C Town. So you're gonna need a. Um, uh, now so wait a second. Now, now this is is this your recipe? It is my recipe. Excuse me, cameraman. Oh, you made this recipe. Yes, I made this recipe, and I'll show you why. Okay. But anyway. You are super freak in the kitchen. Yes. <laughs> now, uh, you want to use a 14 inch cake pan. That's where you're going to put your flan. But in the meantime, while that sugar is, is melting, you need a cup and a half of milk. Don't show them the recipe. No. <laughs> okay. Now you need a cup and a half of milk. You'll 
need a 13 ounce can of coconut milk, 12 ounce can of evaporated milk, and a 14 ounce can of condensed milk, and seven eggs. Uh, you'll also need almond flavor. Where's almond? Okay. Almond extracts. So, so here's the part where uh, here's the part where we mix our ingredients in. So you're gonna need seven eggs. Are these jumbo eggs? Um, no, they're, they're regular eggs. Regular oh, from eggs. Shoprite. From Shoprite? Yeah. Shout out to Shoprite. Only, only the very best. These are the best dirt cheap Shoprite eggs. Yeah, dirt cheap Shoprite eggs. You buy. They had a sale for Easter. I got 60 eggs for six dollars. I couldn't turn that sale down. So you have your your set of eggs. You also have to add half a cup of milk to it. One and a half cups of milk. My mistake. Your can of coconut milk. Do you prefer the one with the parrot on it? It, it doesn't matter. You know, the only the best quality dirt cheap coconut milk that you can find. You put that in there. Eggs and milk. Mm. And then some evaporated, your can of evaporated milk. Then, lastly, you'll need your can of condensed milk. This is annoying, just trying to get it out of the can. <laughs> next time, next time we'll prep, Jason. <laughs> we'll just prep everything. We should prep next time, but... Uh, Guys don't need to see all this. Now that's thick. I usually use a flexible spatula to get it out. This is how we do it. Oh, and you also have to add your almond extract. I tend to go a little heavy on it. Again, I don't measure. I usually just pour it in. That's what you call salt. But that's 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 good enough right there. That's salt right there. Now you gotta mix it. So you've got it all mixed up. Just a moment. God damn it, that smells sweet. So you have your flan mixture, and you basically want to pour it on top of your caramelized sugar. You're gonna hear it cracking. Hear that? Okay. This is where your boiling water comes in. Uh, hopefully you've been boiling your water this whole time. And you're supposed to preheat your oven to uh, 350 degrees. So you have your, your water right here. And you wanna pour it in a big aluminum pan. When they were teaching me how to make flan, they called this a baño, a baño de Maria. In somebody's bathroom. Anyway. What? Well, this is, this is Maria's bathroom right here. I don't so, know what that means. And you want to put your flan in the hot water, like so. What? Jeez, this is hot. Ooh. Be careful. Okay. Then, you want to get all of this into the oven. Now, if I was making fun, I would need assistance. Okay. Because I'm here to go. So, when you put your flan in the oven, you want to record it for an hour. You want to record it for an hour? Oh, uh, no. <laughs> Hold on. So, when you do your flan, you want to put it in the oven for an hour. In the oven for an hour? Yes, you want to put it in the oven for an hour.
All right. So it's been an hour, and uh, we're about ready to pull our slime out of the oven. Yay! Yes! So, uh, I have my trusty bamboo cutting board, you know, from Walmart. Only the very best. That thing is the best. Yes. The way and you threw to, that down there, that's the best. And I have to give Susie Capone a shout out because I'm still using her homemade uh, pot holders. They're the best. No, it, the very best. Isn't that nice? So, now, our flan has to come out of the oven. Ooh. Now, one of the tricks to getting the flan out of the oven without spilling water all over the place, you know, uh, I usually pull out the rack about halfway. This is dangerous. Yes, it's very dangerous. Now, pot holders might get a little wet, but it's not a problem. We put our flan on our cutting board that doesn't transfer heat. Now you know your flan is done when you stab it and your fork comes out clean. Sorry, that was the alarm. You mean like a kick? Yeah, like a cake when you can stab it and it comes out clean, it's just clean. Mm. So, our flan is done. You wanna let it sit out for about an hour to cool. Then you wanna cover it and put it in the fridge for about six to eight hours. Don't eat it unless it's been chilled for six to eight hours. The, the caramel doesn't liquefy until it's actually been chilled for six to eight hours. Wait, you're waiting for the caramel to liquefy? Yes. It, it doesn't, it's not flan until it's sat in the fridge for six. So this isn't flan yet. This is, this is potential flan. This is fictitious flan. But this is what could be flan. It's not flan until it sits in the fridge for six to eight hours. Now are and we going to show them what it looks like after it's sat in the fridge for eight to six hours? Or? Well, you know, it's, it's my uh, trademark to leave, to leave uh, you know, the, the viewers hanging. I'm not gonna cut this flan, and I'm not gonna serve this flan. It's actually for a birthday party, but you know, if you follow my instructions, you will end up with a flan like this. And um, I do have a tip: when you, when I make flan, I don't like to unmold it because it just makes a huge mess. You get syrup all over the place. So I serve it this way: I serve it upside down. You know, you let people just cut, cut the um, the serving that they want, and the syrups at the bottom. You 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 know, bring a ladle. So people can you know, ladle the syrup onto the flan. Yes. And, uh, it cuts down on the mess. You know, if you want to unmold something this big, you're going to end up with syrup everywhere. And the syrup is really hard to clean up. So I hope you enjoyed watching this, this uh, flan movie. And uh, I, ended, I enjoyed making it. Flan movie. Yes, flan movie. Everybody loves flan. No, you like flan. But it's... <laughs> Well, I hope everybody enjoys flying. Whatever. I know I do. The I just, man, I know I want to be there for that, for that party. Oh, well, are you coming? I guess not. Anyway, <laughs> bye everybody. Goodbye.